Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Welcome all new students to Pahang Matriculation College for session 2021-2022 of Chemistry 1 DK014. First of all, we will see the curriculum specification CS. We have three parts in CS where the first part is Program Educational Objective, PEO. And we have PEO1 and PEO3. The second part is Program Learning Outcomes. And it consists of PLO1, PLO2 and PLO4. And the third part is Course Learning Outcomes. And it consists of CLO1, CLO2 and CLO3. In order to understand more about the CS, you may read all these three parts by your own self later on. Next, let's take a look on the important part in this course, which is teaching and learning strategies. In terms of delivery mode, we have two types of mode, which are tutorial and practical. For tutorial classes, the students' contact hour is three hours a week. During this time, you will, be, you will learn with your tutorial lecturer to complete all syllabus in Chemistry 1 throughout this semester. Meanwhile, the students' contact hour for practical classes is two hours a week where you will be guided by your practical lecturer in conducting all experiments. So please be prepared for online learning because as you know, all classes will be conducted through online for this semester. Next, here is a list of all chapters that you are going to learn in Chemistry 1 DK014. We have nine chapters that we need to complete during the tutorial classes. And as a gentle reminder, attendance for all classes is compulsory. However, if you have any problems regarding the online learning, do contact your lecturer immediately. So as you are going to face a new normal of learning in matriculation college, please plan you, your day ahead. Make sure you get prepared for your next class. Next, how will you be evaluated? Generally, you will be evaluated based on combination of tutorial assignment and examination. Here is a breakdown of your final score in assessment strategies. The first one, continuous assessment, 40%. Second, summative assessment test, UPS, 20%. Final examination 40%. For continuous assessment or penilaian berterusan, it consists of three methods of assessments which are practical test 10%, lab report 15%, and you will have an assignment of chapter 7 chemical bonding with a carry mark of 15%. So the total of percentage of these three methods is 40%. Secondly, summative assessment test or Ujian Penilaian Summative UPS with the carry marks of 20% where you will be tested in UPS 1 for chapter 1 to 3, UPS 2 for chapter 4 to 5 and UPS 3 for chapter 6 to 7. And lastly, the most important assessment in this course is final examination or Peperiksaan Semester Peringkat Metrikulasi PSPM. It will include all chapters from chapter 1 to 9 except chapter 7. Next, this is instructional plan for semester. So you can go through this list to see all activities, especially the amount of time you will spend for the tutorial and practical classes. How do online classes look like? There are a few of online platforms will be used by lecturers in teaching, like Google Meet, Telegram, Google Classroom, and YouTube. Meanwhile, the medium of sharing teaching and learning materials that will be used are Google Classroom, Wakelet Online Module, Telegram, and WhatsApp. That's all for now. Let's have fun with, with chemistry. Thank you.